Hello everybody, I'm here with a tutorial today doing something a little different. I'm going to show you how to move games uh, from your solid state drive or hard drive that Steam default installs to, to a different drive. Uh, something that Steam doesn't allow you to do right now for mysterious and unknown reasons, but uh, there is a workaround and that's not that hard to do it. So I'm going to show you how. First thing you want to do is open up two folders. One, I like to do it on the left side of the screen, because it's kind of like where the files are coming from and then where the files are going to on the right side. So, C colon is my solid state drive. It's where all my games are default installed to by Steam. You know, program files x86. That's because I have Windows 7 64-bit instead of 32-bit. Uh, Steam folders, Steam apps, common, and I'm going to leave that folder as is. That's where all my games are. I'm going to open up another folder now. Move this guy to the right side. Uh, now I'm going to open up H, which is my hard drive, 500 gigabyte normal hard drive, 7200 RPM, etc. Open up the uh, folder that I created specifically to hold my Steam games. So I created this folder called Games. And hey, Free Space, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, Steam Common. So I would definitely create this common folder, no matter what the rest of this is. I would certainly make sure you call this common. Uh, I don't know if it's critical or necessary, but uh, I just like it to be somewhat parallel with what's going on in the folder that Steam is default looking at on my solid state drive. So you can see I've already moved a few games over. Um, today I'm going to move Super Meat Boy. Um, I chose it because it's small, so it won't take long to copy, and it also makes me happy. So that's why. Now I'm going to copy Super Meat Boy, the entire folder, paste it onto the destination drive, which is my hard drive. See, it's already copied very quick. Uh, now I'm going to delete the original version of Super Meat Boy on my solid state drive. And now it's only on my hard drive. So now I have to create some sort of link between the drive that Steam, the folder, excuse me, that Steam looks in and the folder that the game is actually currently living in. So to do that, we go into the command line interface. So for this little search box, type CMD, up pops this program in Windows 7. Uh, it's a command line interface, basically DOS script. Um, right click, run as administrator. I don't know why, but apparently, uh, I did look on a Wikipedia page to explain why I didn't understand it, and I'm not going to bother trying to explain it. <laughs> I just ex accident for some reason. That's sort of, uh, I've done that like 20 times trying to record this. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's okay. So, <laughs> try that again. What you want to type is a command called mklink, that creates a junction, forward slash j, quotation. Now you choose the folder that Steam looks in, which is this, copy that, paste, so you can right click and paste, you can't do a control V, otherwise it does the caret V thing, which is not very helpful. Now you need to add super meat boy, or the name of the game that you're copying end quote, space, open quote, now we go over to where the game actually is on the hard drive, copy that location, oops, I just finished telling you how that didn't work and yet here I am making the same mistake, that's pretty brilliant, and we're going to paste that, uh, end quote, and enter, junction created, so we basically created this junction, which has now appeared on my solid state drive and points Steam when the game is opened over here. Now, one thing I neglected to do is make sure I ran the game. So, I am probably going to wish I had done that. I don't know, it actually worked. So, if you have not played the game before, you need to make sure that you actually. Super me. Boy, sorry, can't resist. Um, you need to make sure you run the game once before you copy the folders, uh, the game folder from your or, or original drive to the destination drive. Very, very important. But now when we play Super Meat Boy, as far as Steam knows, it's still in my minimally spaced uh, small solid state drive, when in fact it's on my gargantuan hard drive. Um, it doesn't matter for games that are 200 megs like Super Meat Boy, but for something like Mass Effect 2 or uh, Empire, Total War, these other large games, Skyrim, it matters uh, a lot. Now, a lot of the people out there who are watching this video right now are probably like, well, how do I move TF2, Team Fortress 2? I'm not sure you can actually do that. I'm going to try and figure that out, but Team Fortress 2 lives in a different place altogether. 
Uh, TF2 is special in many, many ways. It's also an incredible game, so if you don't play it, try it out. It's uh, tons of fun. I've met a lot of cool people through it. Now let's say, um, you know, time goes on, uh, you try playing your game, try playing Skyrim, uh, because your hard drive's slower than your solid state drive, naturally, um, you're just not getting the performance you want. Well, you can move it back very easily. So delete the junction you created in the solid state drive. Delete. Very easy. Go to your hard drive. Copy. Move back. And now it's back where it uh, started. Delete it from my hard drive. See if that worked. Yay, it worked. Joy. Um, and we get to listen to the Super Meat Boy theme song again. Life is good. So that's how you move games um, around on drives, given Steam's li limitations. And if you do have a solid state drive, it probably won't be very big because large solid state drives, solid state drives at all these days are pretty damn expensive. So I hope this helps, and uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And uh, if I ever figure out how to move TF2, I'll let you know. All right, take it easy, guys.